with overheads and a bottom snare mic, is a top mic really necessary? We'll find out coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner, and if this is your first time on Rhythm Notes, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming and home recording today. Is going topless a good idea? In terms of snare mics, you don't necessarily need a, a top mic if you have good, well-placed overheads and a snare mic on the bottom. Before we start testing my prediction and going through different mic configurations, let's talk about mic placement. The batter side mic that we're using is a Audix i5, and usually I keep it aimed toward the center, but a little bit pulled back toward the rim so that I get a little bit of that rim sound, that resonance, but I also get a little bit of a drier sound from the center. So if you're aiming the mic at the center, you're gonna get a drier sound. If you're aiming it more toward the edge, you're gonna get a wetter sound. Now in terms of how high you want the mic from the rim, try two fingers or three fingers. Anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches is usually gonna work, but just move it around, play around with it until you get the sound that you're looking for. Every drum's different, every player's different, and every room is different. So just figure out what works for you with those variables. The bottom mic on the snare head is actually the similar approach as the batter head mic, but this time we wanna double check to see that the angle that the bottom mic and the top mic make together is about a 90 degree angle. Start off with about a 45 degree angle to the drum for each mic, and then double check the angle of the mics to make sure that together they form about a 90 degree angle. This is gonna help you with phase issues, and you're gonna also wanna reverse the polarity on the bottom mic so that those waves don't cancel out any desirable frequencies. Usually the low end is the first to go, so if you hear any problems there, uh, you might hear the low end frequencies go first. I like the batter side head because it just adds a different character to the snare and sometimes those frequencies help a cut through loud guitars. Sometimes it also helps maybe grab the signal better so that if you want to uh, do a drum replacement or add a sample, you can trigger a sample that much clearer. So maybe you even use it for that. 
Uh, it, there's all these different options you have down the road. Just because you put the mic there doesn't mean you need to use it. But sometimes you only have two channels, four channels. And let's say you have four channels on your interface. You might want to do two overheads, a kick, and then a snare side mic, a bottom mic on the snare drum. That's not a bad way to go in considering the overheads are going to pick up the snare drum, the toms, the cymbals, and then you're going to get that snare sound from the bottom mic. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, check out this video suggested to you by YouTube. If you want to watch more videos about recording, check out this playlist that I have on different drum recording techniques. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming and home recording and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.